Hey everyone, today I will answer one of the most asked questions on my channel that how do I do my live stream? What apps do I use? So the answer is I use Pizan Live Studio for last three years to do my YouTube live streaming, especially from my phone because Pizan Live Studio is the best mobile live streaming apps for free that you can use even if you don't have thousand subscribers on YouTube because YouTube has the rules that you need to have a thousand subscribers in order to do a live stream from your phone but if you are using Pizam Live Studio then you do not need thousand subscribers thanks to Pizam Live Studio for sponsoring today's video let's open the Pizam apps and see everything in detail hey everyone once you'll open the Pizam Live Studio this is the interface you will see there are tons of options and features you can choose from but let's start one at a time let's start with this three dot on the left corner if you press that there are a bunch of options will be pop up and these are some of the most important feature for this live streaming software or apps. Let's start with this flush. Maybe you are in a situation you need to turn on the flush, you can do so just pressing it once and if you press again, it will turn it off. Same for the mic and same for the camera. But as you can see, there are some options is disabled for me because I haven't set up the live stream yet. In order to unlock this feature, I just need to click right here. And now, as you can see, these features are back on. And this feature right here, flip phone facing camera, it is disabled for me because I'm filming with my back camera. But once I will like switch my camera right here, as you can see, and it's turn it on, like it will flip my screen. So it is very handy sometimes, like let's say I am like filming something and behind there is some sort of text. So if I didn't turn it on, then those letters or those words will be backwards. So it is very handy, like if you, if you need to like show something, in the background any text but i usually turn it off and here another feature it's called save video after live stream so i pretty much turn it on most of the time because it will be saved on my phone gallery my whole live stream will be saved on my phone gallery it is very handy especially i'm walking outside and at the same time i'm doing live stream and i'm recording my videos which is very good i can use a particular clip um, whenever i want to use that from my phone gallery i do not need to browse on youtube in order to get that clip so it is very handy and another handy feature is use live status indicator if you turn it on then this feature will be pop up where you can see your frame rate your internet connection, how strong it is, your mic and your battery percentage, which is very handy. But if you don't want that, just click here and turn it on here again. And here is the focus mode, two types of focus, auto focus, manual focus. I preferred auto focus. Camera Pro is kind of handy as well. Like if you want to play with ISO, exposure, auto focus, white balance, you can do so, but it's not for me there are some camera chroma key kind of new like you can like play with all the stuff like all the sensitivity colors but i usually turn it off because it's not like suitable for my types of video and this remote control connection is kind of new you can connect different mobile device or different uh, live streaming uh, phone or cameras whatever you can like add using this remote control connection and now let's let's talk about other feature including how you can switch the camera it's very easy like you can switch between your font and rear camera during your live stream like you see this icon right here if you click right here you will see the option like if you click this it will be like show my font facing camera and since i'm using iphone 13 pro so i'm getting this different camera angles because i'm using iphone 13 pro so i had that feature but depending on your phone it might be different to you and if you click right here this is your account information and your previous live streaming history 
and here they will save all your previous live streaming history if you want to delete that just click here delete that's it or you can share it from here as well but if you click this gear icon right here here you will find some information like your steam destination where you wants to do a live stream and here you can have the option to change your video resolution like you can choose 1080p 720p depending on your internet connection another important option that you must turn it on if you don't want to have a pism watermark on your video pism are nice enough to let you remove the watermark for free you just need to turn this option on the good thing about pism is they are keep getting better each day they are keep getting better and they are just uh, improving themselves that's what i just uh, like about pism so in order to set up a live stream you just need to click this yellow button right here but before you do that you need to set up a title so to do that you need to click right here you can type whatever title you want to type you can add some description right there and then done and here you have the option to set up a youtube thumbnail like I already had it. Let's delete this thumbnail. If you need to delete it, you can delete it from here. Here you will see pretty much like this. And if you need to add a thumbnail, you can just click YouTube thumbnail, select done. Or if you need to change this thumbnail, you can just click the thumbnail and click that delete or change image, whatever. Either way is fine, but delete might be way faster. And you can choose again. And another option is intro if you had a video intro you can add from here i had one so i will choose so before i go live they will show my intro and then it will start my life which is very nice about uh Pism. so if you click right here you had the option to add your streaming platform and you can also do multi live stream like you can do live stream at the same time on facebook youtube twitter but you definitely need a good internet connection here you can see some settings this is very important if you click on public only then your live stream will be visible to public if you press unlist it will be not visible to your public it will be only visible to the selected people and private it will be not visible at all since i am doing it as a demonstration i put it unlist because I don't want my viewers to join during my tutorial. And here you can again choose the vid video resolution. Like I choose 1080p because uh, my internet connection is all right. But here you can also set up bit rate, frame rate. You can do 60 frame per second live streaming here on Pism, which is very handy. And this option right here is new to YouTube. Like you had to declare, is it made for kids or not? in order to post any video. So my videos are not made for kids, so I just press this. Some other feature you can do, like if you click right here, it will show you this option to share your live stream, or you can copy your live streaming URL and you can share it anywhere you want to share. But if you click right here, this is the most fun part. You got this different filter, uh, as you can see, changing the image and it changing everything which is pretty fun and you can just play with the sensitivity that how much you want or not stuff like that or you can reset right here but if you don't want to do that or if you need to go back to the normal you just click this original and it will be get back to your normal mode this is very fun like sometimes you can be creative there is a fun feature that I really like about PSM that you can draw whatever you want to draw during your live stream. So in order to do that, you can just click right here and then you can click this icon. If you click there, there will be option to choose color. You can choose whatever color you want and you can draw things in the screen during your live stream and you can delete it from there as well. And also they had like other feature uh, emojis, like you can uh, add some sort of custom stickers different types of stickers you can add there are so many options in build inside pism and you can use those while you are live let me show you let me press this button right here 
and I'm going to live right now. It's taking some time because it's on landscape mode right now, but you can do live stream on portrait mode as well. And it's showing my intro, but let's say I don't like my intro and I want to skip the intro. I can click this skip and it will be skipped. And as you can see here, these features are pop up. You can see my frame rate, you can see my internet connection, you can see my mic is on, you can see how much battery percentage I had, how long I'm live streaming right here, how many people are right here because I'm making an unleashed live stream so there are no people right here. And right here if you click you can just uh, write down chat right here and you can reply to your viewers, you can write thank you and it will be show up on the left corner, see here it's showing on the left while you are live you can also add custom music and photo or video and you can play with them while you are live so let me show you how we can do it you need to just swipe left and here you have the option media text other stuff let's start with media if you click here you have the option to import video in your live stream if you click that you can import any video you want to import let's say I want to import this video click here add and I can just select this video and I can drag anywhere I want and if I click that play button it will be start playing while am I live this is pretty handy and fun sometimes and I can just delete that same for the picture you can just select any photos and it will be here and if you click music then you will have two options like inbuilt piece of music but this might be copyrighted but you can use those or you can select music from your device say just select a music and click add it will be added right here then you press here and it's playing it's playing on my live stream and i need to turn it off just press this button right there so let me show you how this text feature work you just need to click that text and you can write pretty much everything uh, while you are live thank you for watching and then just click right here and you can adjust the size with this slider right here you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can choose the font whatever font you preferred and you can change the color everything in build and whenever you are done click done and it would be right here and you can just uh, slide it your preferable position and if you don't want that anymore click here and it would be gone and if you need to end this live stream then just click end and it will be asking you this question like do you wish to end your live stream another option you are seeing right here saying end your stream while maintaining the youtube live streaming status this is kind of new as i say that pism is keep updating their app so this will allow you to switch phone or switch device or resume a live stream after certain times to me this is very very helpful because i can like end my live stream for certain time then i can resume from there it is really life changing press end to end this live stream so as you can see pism live studio is very easy to use and if you are looking for some sort of live streaming software mobile live streaming software then you can definitely give a shot of trying pism i think your live stream experience will be so different and special so i highly, highly recommend you start use pism because that's what i'm using this is it thank you so much everyone for watching this video i really appreciate that